Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me in today's time lapse video. I'm continuing my project of birds and berries. I really only have one painting of berries, so I need to find more photographs of berries that I like, but I'm really loving painting birds. So this series continues. Uh, these are smaller paintings that are really great for some Christmas gifts. So I have that in mind as I made them. So this is a six by six inch on a gallery wrapped canvas. So that means it's an inch and a half thick on the sides and it can sit up, kind of stand up on its own. So you can have it as desk decor or put it on a shelf or hang it on the wall. So it's really cool. They will be available and this one is available at the Okotoks Art Gallery soon for their Christmas sale. The Spirit of Christmas is what it's called, the Spirit of Christmas sale. And that starts on November 19th, 2021. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these birds and berries pieces that are still available, then go check it out in person. Or if you want something custom, let me know. I love to make custom pieces. It's kind of like a little challenge and it makes it extra special because I know that what I'm creating is usually something really special in terms of a memory or experience you've had. So as you can see, I'm working on kind of creating a silhouette, first of all. So I'm because I have a bright blue background, I can create the I would start with the dark first and then add on my highlights and other colors. This way I can focus on placement. So I'm not really worried about color at the moment. I can just I've got my base color and now I can add in the other details and everything else is in place. Cause that can take some time is getting proportions correct, getting your angles, getting the thickness or thinness of the strokes in there first of all. And so I, that's why one reason I really like that method. And then it's just kind of fun to add the highlights on top. You're not as worried about placement. You still have to consider it and I'm still using my reference photo quite regularly, <laughs> as you can see, and I'm zooming right in so I can really get those fine details, but it really helps in the process. If you're a beginner or if you're advanced, however you create, it might be, it will help you out. So I'm going to finish all the branches and little bits first before I work on my bird. But as I get ready to work on the bird, what I do skip in this is I don't show you my sketching process. It's a little bit hard to see because I don't use a really bold color when I'm sketching the bird um, or whatever subject matter I'm using. You can kind of see it right now, but it's quite light as you can see. So I just, I didn't feel like that was necessary to include in the video, but maybe I'll do some sketching videos in the future. So I use a pencil crayon actually as of late to do that. I used to use pastel, like a chalk pastel, but that kind of doesn't give me as much fine tuning drawing detail because, well, the patch pastels are usually in blocks, rectangular blocks that are kind of rounded on the corners after you use them once. So, and then they kind of draw, so they draw a thick line and then they kind of bleed into the paint that you're using. So. This has been a really good alternative. I was first worried that they, I wasn't going to be able to erase my markings, but a kneadable eraser, once everything is dry, has really removed the pencil crayon markings quite nicely. And I always use a color that's light, that looks close to the image or background, so I'm not really messing things up. So as you can see, I'm working kind of in blocked areas to create this bird. So I've started with some some base layers, but not just one overall, because there's so many different sections to this bird. I didn't feel like that would be very useful for my time. So it just depends on the particular bird that I'm working with. And with this one, it didn't have the strong details of feathers on the belly, like some of the other ones, where I found it useful to start with like a dark silhouette and then add layers of feathers on top. So for this one, I just started with kind of that middle tone. And now I'm going into these beautiful lavender wings. And I do change the color because like I said, I'm layering, right? You start with one tone and maybe you have some white or some, you know, dark blue or something else to blend the color to change it a little bit. Because if you want your paints to blend well, while they're still wet is the best time and acrylics dry really quickly. So you need to be prepared. So have your paint selected, put it on your palette and then be ready to blend. And so I just kind of put out what I'm going to be using within 
maybe 10 to 15 minute time frames, and then bring out more colors as you need them. So just bring out a little bit. I hate wasting paint. It still happens, but I really do hate it. And I work really thin, uh, thinly. Is that even a correct form of thin? Uh, I use really thin layers of paint when I, when I paint. And I don't know if that's the conserving side of me that likes to, you know, use what I, my resources well, <laughs> it could be, but it's also just the way I like to do things. I, I appreciate those who can just throw like chunks of paint onto a painting. I can appreciate a painting like that, but I don't think I could do a painting like that. It's just not in me to do. And painting comes from within the soul, I think. So I'm just getting these little details worked out within the wings, getting the layers of color, making sure that I'm getting the shadows correctly. And then this bird actually does have legs <laughs> that are tucked in. And I waited till the end to do that. So just finding the right time to do certain parts of a painting can really make it way less stressful. And I hope by watching these time lapses and other videos that I have that you're able to get some learning through that. But if you need some more instruction, I do teach in-person classes um, here in my town. So message me or go to my website and sign up for the email newsletter so you can find out about the classes that I teach in person. I'm gonna try and teach some live classes here on YouTube that's in the plan. And then I have some paint with me sessions as well available. You can also take class with me on Skillshare and possibly another place soon, but stay tuned for that. And there we go, the bird's complete. If you enjoyed this video, will you please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.